AppalachianWireless.com is here to make your life easier. Sign in or create a self-care account to pay bills, view usage, or check contract dates. You can also apply for paperless billing and auto pay to save up to $5 per phone per month on postpaid plans. It's self-care from Appalachian Wireless. A group of students at Pikeville High School in collaboration with the University of Kentucky's Healthy Way program have been conducting a research project centered on online safety. What it is is it's a research program for teenagers to find a problem in their community or something that affects their peers and then they research and try to find a way to improve that problem. The students decided to focus on social media safety and what to do when you receive dangerous messages. After conducting their research, the students made a survey for their classmates to take and use the data to focus on weak points of internet safety among their peers. Most of the times you hear stuff and the rumors that get started and everything that everyone always talks about is from social media and what's going on, what people post, how people feel. I feel like sometimes when kids come in and they're not having the best of a day, it's because of something that's happened on social media or something that's happened on a platform of the way someone has made them feel. We want to teach kids how to be safe and not make bad choices so that way these issues won't continue to happen. We want kids to know what to do when they encounter these situations. We never really had someone tell us like this is how you should respond to these situations. You kind of just had to learn over time. So we're hoping that maybe if we tell them beforehand they can avoid things that maybe we couldn't have. The students have been working alongside the Kentucky State Police, who will be holding an assembly at the school where business cards will be distributed with hotline numbers for students to reach out to if they know of any wrongdoings happening online. For Mountaintop News, I'm Kelsey Dean.